Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> We got here in the end, oh. which is something. Oh, you're on the tea too. Yeah. Or is it the coffee? Oh, no, tea. 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 Yeah. I'm not a big tea or coffee drinker, but when it's cold. Although it's very, very spring like here. It's got that kind of, the last couple of days, there's been that kind of tinge in the air, that sort yeah. of the sun shining and the birds are singing. <laughs> and we're well, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were on Monday um, and Tuesday and um, today and tomorrow. Uh, is it or no, is it Sunday? Anyway, um, today, yesterday and today has been 50 mile an hour winds. Oh, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> Kat thinks so too. Because um, she's, she's only yay big. Put guy ropes on the cat. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, when you feel like, I mean, she she sort of goes that she she went out last night after it got dark because it calmed down a bit, and it's at the moment calmer than it was yesterday. But um, otherwise, it's like, right, mum, turn the wind off. And it's like, Sorry, darling, I can't do that you know. did you know einstein had the same problem with his cat oh well <laughs> apparently she used to come in and sort of say i don't like the weather do something about it and he would say i'm very sorry my dear i really can't and apparently that was actually true it's not even apocryphal well if anybody could have done anything it would have been einstein so if he can't do it but yeah the rest of what us chance have i got <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh, no so it's a bit sort of mad um but a couple of days ago um day before yesterday what day are we on uh wednesday <laughs> you have to think right. about it it was you? monday yeah I, I haven't got a clue where i am honestly i haven't got alzheimer's it's fine um, and um, watching this we record it on wednesday and it goes out on thursday we don't want to in, don't want to confuse people <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Confused <laughs> 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 enough. <laughs> well, you know, just just live with it. It's part of other world. Yeah. It's fine. It's it's a day. It's one of the days of the week, you know. Yeah. So Monday it was lovely. Um soft, um, just a gentle breeze, warm. Yeah. I was out planting, I got a new cherry tree and it actually arrived that day. So I was straight out there planting a new cherry tree and um doing other things and just able to sit by the pond with a cup yeah. of tea yeah and it was like oh i need this yeah <laughs> i really just need to be able to go and sit in my garden yeah and um 50 miles an hour wet winds don't really do it yeah no, that's not <laughs> quite good if you want to cleanse or get rid of something <laughs> <laughs> get rid of me it's been enough but yeah no, it's it been, been nice to have that couple of kind of hints of spring it's on the way <laughs> it's supposed to be really good for the next few days from tomorrow right so um i'm actually going to be doing something totally amazing because i did something totally amazing on monday and i now need to brag about it <laughs> you you take the floor <laughs> thank you well, first of all, realise that this is a woman with rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis and three broken bones in her back. This is actually pertinent. And um, so we, we got a digger in to dig a pond um, when we first came and the it, pond comes, pond's coming along lovely. And I got a young man with superlative muscles. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a bit. And, <laughs> And well, um, pretty to look at. <laughs> I mean, I can, eye candy's fine. I'm I'm all for eye candy. And um it got dreadlocks too. <laughs> this is this is how witches are, it's terrible. Um, anyway, he shoved a whole load of stones, and I mean stones, stones, you know, like this around, and you just sort of picked them up and went, whoa, like that. So, <laughs> yeah, right. And anyway, so he put them in the right place um, so that I could get on with filling the pond and doing the rest of it. 
And then um, COVID happened since when I haven't been able to get any handsome, glorious, muscular young men to come and build my waterfall for me. <laughs> um, so it's nearly open again, guys. Guys, yeah. if you want to come and build my waterfall, please do. Anyway, there I was. So Applications I was. in photographs, please. <laughs> Photographs important. <laughs> um, but anyway, there I was sat by the pond with my cup of tea, and where I've got it, where I sit, is going to be right opposite where the waterfall is going to come oh, down. Nice. It isn't going to be terribly big, but it, it's nice. And we've got these lovely stones that have got moss all over them. Oh, brilliant! So you know, it's got to be like that. And I, I know how to do it. I, I've done this for. Um, Hampton Court Palace shows and things like that um, when I used to have some mu well, muscles but I also used to have lots of gorgeous guys um, anyway so I was sitting there I wish I could move those stones and a little voice said why don't you so I went okay <laughs> got up went over there and bugger me I moved one <laughs> and then I moved two and then I moved three and by the end of it I'd moved five <laughs> and you're still living you're still moving <laughs> I, I, I didn't have any back problems or anything like that so oh so um i called my girlfriend from down the road a couple of miles away and she helps with the garden too um another lady with a bad back um but we, we handle it it's fine and um so i said guess what i did and she went woo <laughs> And I said, next fine, next time is a fine day and you've got a moment, how's about we have a go, at least to start it. Yeah. We may not be able to lift them all up as high as they're going to have to go, but we might get it started and that'll give me more of an idea when I'm actually seeing it. So tomorrow, crossed. maybe yeah. there will be the beginnings of a waterfall. So, da -da, da -da. <laughs> Yes. Water in the garden, though, is it? Lovely to have water in the garden. I, I, I can't have a garden without it. Mm. And you get so many extra little beasties and frogs and, yeah. you know, newts and toads and things. Frogs. Love frogs. Yeah. And we had da da um, dragonflies and damselflies last oh. year. Yeah, brilliant. And it's the, the, the vegetation's better now, so hopefully again this year so it'll be lovely and the most beautiful thing was in the spring after the particularly the sparrows had had their babes you get all these little baby sparrows and they come down to the edge of the water and they they're like a bunch of kids in the sea <laughs> uh, they really really are so i mean i, I it's it's the, the pond's only about 18 inches deep so i got in there and i built against the where they come down i sort of built little levels so that they can actually get in and have a splash yeah. and it's so funny <laughs> it is just gorgeous <laughs> 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 so i'm looking forward to that again this year yeah, that'd be brilliant oh it's so nice have you got a pond in your garden no um we've got plan i've got plans to put a water feature in there this this spring but um with all everything else that's happened it, you know it's planned in our heads at the minute yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes yeah. it will happen but um yeah definitely got plans for one oh you'll really like it what you're going to have what sort of thing you're going to do no at the minute we've been looking around at different things it won't be very big nothing no. on a grand scale because the garden's yeah. too small but uh yeah my, uh, something with a bit of movement i think as well but yeah yeah. And it doesn't have to be huge, does it, to encourage no. wildlife in? So. No, no. When I, when I was in London, before I got a pond in the, in the garden, which must have been about the same size as yours then, but before I did that, I just buried um, a dustbin lid, just oh, yeah. and left that in, and it was full of birds and everything. Yeah. It was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I'm We've thinking got, of I've got, it. You know, I've got a bird... Box thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. They like to, and I put stones in it as well, so that the yeah. people can have a drink and you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking of doing that again, actually, because I've got spare dustbin lid things 
and um, in the little front garden out in front of here because I'd love water in there. And it's one, it's the bird place because it's where we've got bird feeders and the trees where they go right. and everything. So I thought, dustbin lid. Yeah, perfect. Easy. Perfect. And, um, and that would be great for them. So that will be something else to watch this year. And I can do that in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is, sometimes it is the simple, straightforward things that are so successful, isn't it? Yeah, That's all it, it is. takes is, a, is you know, yeah. a few minutes and a bit of thought and you're done and dusted. Oh, have you, do you get um, swallows and martins and um, swift no. sailings? We're a bit limited on the types of birds we get here. I think mm. a lot of it is to do with, because we're terraced, there's loads of cats. <laughs> and I think the birds are like, oh. <laughs> No, not going there. We get loads of sparrows. We get loads of yeah. pigeons. Mm. We get crows, a few magpies, mm. big old seagulls, huge seagulls. Mm. I've seen a few blue tits, uh, mm -hmm. but that's about it. I try and encourage other things. I put different types of bird food and things mm. out, but I haven't seen anything else. Oh, and no, a few starlings when they, you know, like the angry teenagers that they are. Especially when you put fat balls out and it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite amazing. But, no, I mean, with um, swifts and swallows and um, martins, they're insect catchers mm, in the air. Yeah. So you're not going to put out food that's going to be for them. No, but I'm if the insect. area's got it, <laughs> yeah, you no, might I'm find they silly. come once you've got your water. Oh, of course, yes, because that's going to attract a different yeah. flying insects, isn't it? Yeah. And you can get um, boxes for swallows and swifts mm. that you can just put under the eaves. Yeah. <clears throat> and they do come. Yeah. Um, we, we, we saw that in London um, when we did it. And, I mean, you wouldn't say London was exactly swift heaven. Um, no. But several of the gardens in our terrace had water, and we did. And so we put up. You, they, they come in sort of like little blocks of about three or four, five holes or something. And you bung it up under the eaves. And, um, <laughs> exactly. You know, you put up a condominium. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I don't think anyone in a lo local time, I've not seen any water in any of them. So, yeah, mm. that probably plays a big part, doesn't it? Well, is, is anything that attracts, um, you know, the things we don't like, like midges? No, no water. Those, which is a bonus. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> well, I don't know. Usually the ones we get down, I mean, they're not like the Scottish yeah. jobs. <laughs> <laughs> they are just not like the Scottish <laughs> jobs. <laughs> um, we've always had a pond and there are always insects flying over it. Um, yeah. We've never had any trouble with them, you know, an occasional sort of mosquito bite or something, but very rare. Um, so it could be worth it. Um, yes, we will. That's, that is one of our projects for mm. uh, for this, this, this spring, this summer. Well, I shall look forward to some photographs. Mm, yes. This is where we started. Oh, your photo this is minus. This is one. <laughs> yeah. no, I want the whole nine yards, please. <laughs> well, we've got some possible house renovations now planned this year. Good. As well. That might be. That might take a bit of precedence over it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there might be some odds and sodderies left from the house renovations that yes. you can use. Yes, I'm hoping there'll be some bricks and things like that. that yeah. Yeah. They usually are, and yeah. you know, if you sort of offer them two cups of tea or something, <laughs> yeah, love, all right, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping there will be some bits and bobs, so that'll be good. So when I come to see you like this, um, <laughs> I shall be looking at a different space. Well, fingers crossed, at some point, the room I'm sitting in will be a kitchen. <laughs> so... <laughs> Do you mind? Your timing is appalling. <laughs> yes, this is planned to be a kitchen opening out into the garden. So, Oh, how lovely. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. And then we'll have a dedicated, what is now the kitchen, will be a study. Now that both myself and husband are working from home, Yeah, 
we're yeah. going to convert that into a study and this room is bigger than our kitchen so it should be should be nice it's going to be chaos for, for probably um a couple of good couple of months i would have thought but we'll mm. get there we'll get we shall there. we shall see you in the bedroom during that time in, there, yes there will be a few lives with me just sitting with a blank wall because <laughs> i'm shoved in a corner upstairs somewhere <laughs> i've been there done that too yeah i know, I know. <laughs> it, it's quite something so no that should be gorgeous so are you it, opening into the garden like this sort of like french windows or a glass door and yeah oh. we've got a little, little tiny conservatory on the end of this room so we're going to take down the wall between the two and the conservatory will become an ex, a proper extension and it will open out into the garden so that's, that's the plan be, anyway oh that's <laughs> going to be gorgeous yeah it, it it'll i've never ever been able to design my own kitchen so that will be fun to do as well so yeah uh, i i have um yeah twice now and um i didn't have to with this one i i have just inherited the most gorgeous kitchen but um uh which is very unusual but you know okay but when you can, and it's so lovely because you can have things where you want them yep. and not where some bloody builder thinks is a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> with, with the kitchen we've got in this house and we've lived here for, I don't know, 27 years or something, it has one drawer in the entire kitchen. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to have more than one drawer. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can definitely see that. Yeah, it'd be nice. So presumably that is the cutlery drawer, or do you yeah, do cutlery? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I would be sort of torn between you know other things and having the cutlery in a set of jars. <laughs> yeah, most <laughs> which of my I'm sure other, you've been there. You know, <laughs> my other stuff is hanging on the wall at the moment. So yeah, spatulas and all that kind of thing, jars mm -hmm. and hanging on the wall. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting project, <laughs> she says. <laughs> Are you keeping the same um, things like cookers and things? Or... No, the whole lot be replaced. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to have a massive range. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to have loads of ovens and grill pans <laughs> and all sorts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to be so in your element. I mean, the kitchen witch is seriously going to be yes. in the kitchen. Yeah, uh, it's it's nice to be able to do at my age. <laughs> I reckon I've earned it. <laughs> you have. Yeah, you definitely have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I've told the house, I have spoken to the house and warned it that there will be a few operations. <laughs> but I have. <laughs> I think it's smiling yeah well it's it was built in 1920 so it she's a fairly old lady mm. but yeah I've, I've i've warned her and promised her that it will all be for the best <laughs> well i'm seeing her smiling yeah, so smiling. i think she's saying oh thank god somebody's got a bit of sense at last <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's kept us safe for a long time so yeah, yeah. she's having a bit of a facelift <laughs> So is that the main thing that you're having done? Uh, yeah, it is lit. Well, this room will become the kitchen and the mm -hmm. old kitchen will become the study. Mm -hmm. So proper study all decked out so that we can work from home comfortably and properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's just so sensible. That's one thing I've always had to have because even when I was working, I was working at home as well. Mm. And I've always had a study. Yeah and um i can't handle it without yeah no i i mean i when i first started working from home oh mm. gosh 12 years ago now mm. i was in the corner of one room and then i was in the bedroom <laughs> i've been out in the conservatory <laughs> now there's two of us working from home we've literally yeah. lost our dining room we've had to take the dining room table out and, and put us both working in here i hate not having a dining room table I hate not having a table where you can sit and have breakfast or dinner or even space to sort of sit with your cookbooks and get your bits and pieces out. So it'll we'll get that back as well, space for a dining room table. So, so are you going to have the dining room table in the kitchen? Yeah, it'll, the kitchen will yes. run into a little diner bit, which then opens into the garden. So yeah. it sounds very grand. It's not that huge, but it's ours. So <laughs> No, and I mean, it's doing what you want. 
yes that's the nice thing to be able to because things change don't they like the way you live changes yeah i mean yeah. we we've, we've always we've had we had a house to ourselves and then we had children and now we've only got one child at home and things have changed yeah now working from home the, mm -hmm. the house functions but not quite as it should do so no. it's no. nice to be able to do it mm -hmm. make it work for us really yeah i think that's what's really important and you know you and the house sort of shuffle along together mm -hmm. and say, no you put it over here and no put it over here that'll be yeah. fine sort of thing and and you try it and it works yeah and or it doesn't work and you say, oh no <laughs> 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 that's why i love the it's got it's got a lot of the original features so each room's got picture rails and i love picture rails because it means you can just move stuff around exactly <laughs> exactly and walls and moving i don't around. i don't have that i have i have to put picture hooks mm -hmm. in um to stick all this lot up. yeah but um I would like picture of. On the other hand, we've got one of those bloody dado rails here. Oh yes, <laughs> and it's half panel. Just for anything, yeah. <laughs> um, which is sort of okay, but it means you can't put anything very long on it. Oh, of course, yes. And um, what yeah. I, I've got a couple of um, Chinese pictures that uh, well, one Jap no, I think the Japanese pictures actually, and they're on these long scrolls. Yeah, and. Um, I would like one of them in here, but no, mm -hmm. it just doesn't. Yeah. It just sort of goes Ugh, over yeah. the dodo rail <laughs> and looks really stupid, you know. <laughs> and um, let's face it, we like to hang loads of stuff on the walls, don't we? <laughs> um, right. Okay. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> yeah, Going around, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, we, we do. Like <laughs> I, I do like the, the, the panelling though that's beautiful that's that gives it lots of it, character doesn't it it is nice um it's just sort of like ah gets in the way um you sort of think well i'd like to do so and so um mm, can't and that sort mm -hmm. of thing but um no and i mean the window is really nice and i've got a nice deep window ledge and all that kind of thing yeah. it looks out on my rose garden which is nice so that's that. lovely um yeah, and it, oh, when we first saw the house and it came into this room, and we've got this enormous great baronial hall for a living room. It's fantastic. It's about 15 foot high and um, been a bit sort of done into, you know, black beams and shit like that. Yeah. I don't know, but okay. <laughs> and um, it feels a little bit like, you know, I ought to be in one of these sort of trendy pubs. <coughs> <laughs> But no, it's fine, and, it, and it's all working fine. But um, I just walked in here, and I, oh, this is mine. Yeah. Yeah. And you I get can that get... feeling, don't you? You, I mm. think when you when you're looking at houses, it's that instant feeling. Mm. Yeah, you know, don't you, whether it's right or not. And when we can have people again, I mean, I can have <clears throat> myself and eight students in here. Oh, excellent. Um, and you know, we're, it's slightly tight possibly but not really mm -hmm. and they've all got I, I only we talked about this before I only get sort of I get my furniture from junk shops oh me too yeah absolutely yeah everything and you so you know there's nursing <laughs> chairs and rocking chairs and all yeah. sorts of stuff like that so people sit on on all sorts of kind of shit which is really nice but no it's it's so nice and there's something hopefully a lot of people are finding that actually working for home from home is not so bad I think, well, I mean, I worked from home for years anyway, but my yeah. husband had to work from home from the first lockdown and his company's decided now that actually it works really well. Yeah. So yeah. can't get rid of the old bugger. <laughs> That's the only drawback really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you still here? <laughs> he has been trained to make a good cup of tea though, so we're all right. <laughs> well, that's something. Yeah, that is, that is, that actually does cover an awful lot of problems. That does. No, uh, we, well, we've been together 29 years this year and we are now together 24 7. And yeah, we're, we're very lucky that it works. Yeah. I know there's been a lot of people have had awful problems <laughs> living, living so closely with each other um, over this past year. But yeah, we, we make a good team, thankfully. <laughs> 
I think that's one thing that, and, and I know people do, um, Paul and I have always been like two separate people who come together. And I mean, we've even gone on holiday separately. Right. And come back and yeah. all the sounds like blah, blah, blah. Of course, you've got something, yeah, 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 to talk about. <laughs> you know, not just each other, the weather and Mrs. Jones next door. <laughs> and, um, which is what our conversation consists of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not quite that bad, but I've worked from home for mm, 20 odd years now. I don't know, it must be nearly 30. And, That's um, time flies, doesn't it? Yeah, and Paul's largely there, but we've learned that it's perfectly okay if we just sit in our various spots in whatever room yeah. in the same room and do our own thing and every yeah. now and again you know like so once every two or three hours or once every 10 to 20 minutes somebody's head comes up and says so 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 and the other person either sort of says go away i'm in the middle of something or, <laughs> or talk but it's okay to say go away i'm in the middle of something yeah you know is my ego is still fine yeah I may want to hit him with a brick, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to make it work, haven't you? You, have you do. And, um, and it's important. I think it's really important for relationships in general that you you don't have to be in each other's pockets all the time. No, oh, no. No, you've got to have your own interests, haven't you? You have got yeah. to have your own interests, definitely. And it, it's quite okay if they're not the same as his or hers. Yes, yeah. And we have an electronic drum kit <laughs> out in the conservatory. I could do without that, but there you go. <laughs> You're obviously used to it, yes. <laughs> in, the years of drama, in a rock band, and of course, in the last year, really, they haven't really been able to gig. So that's his passion. Um, so the, the, the electronic drum kit has been a lifesaver, really, because when I go to bed, <laughs> it goes to the drum kit, which is at the other end of the house. <laughs> so I can't hear it. <laughs> and it is an electronic one, so it, it doesn't... He can, he can adjust the volume. Into, comes yeah. into his headphones. Oh! Yeah. You yeah. get a tippy-tap noise. We checked with the neighbours. Their bedroom's the other end of the house as well, so we're all good. But it has been a lifesaver for him, really. Yeah. And again, that's making things work in this yes. bizarre situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it... I mean, there are probably some principles that you've got, like, you know you don't kill cats or something um <laughs> that um are absolutely set in stone yeah um but an awful lot of the other stuff it's sort of like the old adage of you know he leaves the top tube off the top of the toothpaste tube <laughs> and i don't and yeah. yeah it niggles and you just have to sort of like learn how to unniggle yourself there's always going to be odd things, isn't there? Yeah. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very high maintenance to live with. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> but I always say, because I know I'm high maintenance, it makes mm. it easier to deal with. <laughs> I think it does. And it, if somebody sort of says to me, oh, for goodness sake, I can't cope with this. Then, you know, I can sort of learn, usually learn to shut up or go somewhere else and do it yeah or they go somewhere else and do it yeah. whatever um so it, it does sort of work i mean i find my my worst high maintenance is the um the diseases the crippling mm -hmm. the osteoporosis the rheumatoid and the the, the sjogren's I, I i have problems yeah. with my eyes um and the broken back because you you go to pick up a cup and it slithers you can't pick up a piece of paper properly off the table. Yeah. And there are times, particularly if sort of the back is aching at the same times, when I just break out and swear. Mm. And I find that's important that if I don't do that, it, everything will get worse. Yeah. And so, you know, whoever's living with me has to like put up with this is going to happen. Yeah. You know, if, if if you if you couldn't do these kind of things, you would probably be swearing as well. Yeah. Frustration. Um, Frustration's a big part. It, it is. When their bodies it, don't work. 
Yeah, and I mean, they all stop working gradually. But sometimes yep. they sort of get in a fit and do lots of things that <laughs> it's really difficult. And then you go out and pick up five stones. Well, you don't pick yeah. them up. I, I move them and roll and rolls them. And it, you're sort of like... But I think that's that's a good day, bad day thing. Isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. We've had, coming up for seven years now, perimenopause. And I say we because my husband's had to deal with it with me as well. Uh, and that's been a challenge, a real big challenge. Yeah, uh, it has been horrendous uh, at times, and I I have a bowel disease as well, so I have good ulcerative uh, colitis. So I have good days and bad days, and you do it's frustration, isn't it? When you yeah. you have to I keep, I keep apologising because, uh, yeah, because I'm having a bad day, and yeah, mm -hmm. give and take, isn't it? it is give and, and take, it and, is. And, you... <laughs> and I think communication as well, talking exactly. about. You know, mm. saying, look, I'm having a really, really bad day. <laughs> Just, you know, let me be. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not a good day, you know. Um, and, and sometimes Paul sort of asked me, I don't know, something about the, we don't have gas, something about the gas bill, for instance, or something. And it, not now. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Do that tomorrow. That's tomorrow's issue. <laughs> well, I don't even go there. It's just like, not now. <laughs> and, um, and, Unless, you know, the uh, bailiffs are at the door or something, he leaves me alone. It'll wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, he sort of says, either the bailiffs are at the door or else <laughs> he has to handle it. Yeah. Because I can't. Yeah. And then there's another time, you know, when he's feeling sort of lousy for some reason. And, right, I'm doing that. I'm the worst nurse. I am the world's worst nurse. <laughs> My husband's nodding. <laughs> but I think Why? Because, well, he's the carer. He's the carer in the family. He's the one that's always there. He's always strong. He's always and where I've always had health issues, and that he's the one that looks after. So when he's ill, it turns my world upside down. I can't deal with this. <laughs> no, no, I agree Just with get that. better, will you? <laughs> I am rubbish. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm very much the same, and I, I'm, I'm sure Paul realizes this that I have enough trouble handling me, mm. and another sick person. You know, I mean, if you if you just sort of cut an artery, I'll either help you to bleed better, or I will call the ambulance. <laughs> um, but you know, other than that, <laughs> anything less than that, <laughs> it's sort of like, well, see the doctor do this you know sort of saying um paul had some blood pressure problems last year and um mind you he's the worst patient in the universe <laughs> um never mind the world it's the whole bloody universe and um you know and he's and he's a man and they they're always awful uh, <laughs> no, I, and, must admit, I, I must admit pete is he's very good at dealing with his own you're illness. very he, lucky he, with the that. traditional no he doesn't have man flu <laughs> No, Paul doesn't exactly, well, he does sort of have man flu occasionally, but it's sort of like, my blood pressure's fine, you know, it's way up here somewhere, oh, okay. and it's not denial. fine. Yeah, denial. <laughs> you know, total denial. And um, so, I mean, I got to the stage of, well, you know, let me measure you, I need to measure you for a coffin. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that did that bring it home? <laughs> He did after about three days. I mean, his skin is about dinosaur thick, you know. <laughs> um, but it's it's so in that sort of sense. But I mean, if he got really ill, I literally cannot handle it, mm -hmm. and um, I, I just can't. Um, so you know, I mean, I think that is sort of well known between the two of us, and. And I, I think it's pretty well known to the doctor too, so that if anything did go wrong, you know, the doctor would be in there sort of like, okay, what can we do? You know, what do you want? Um, I suspect a lot of people have struggled with relationships in this relationship because we have been confined into spaces with people that we don't normally spend that amount of time with, haven't we? Um, we have. Yeah. yeah. It's all been completely different dynamics for a lot of people. I wonder, I hope an awful lot of people have learned from it. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, I would hope so. I really hope so, because 
you know, probably the, back to last week's chat when we talked about disposing of bodies. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not, not oh, well, I haven't had any emails on that, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, wasn't it one of the Sherlock Holmes things sort of said if you know if all the the actual murders could actually rise out of their graves in a churchyard, you'd be stunned. <laughs> and yeah. the trouble is, I suspect that's not altogether untrue, because um, people, you know, you've got the sort of you know you first seen this bloke in the bar or the dance or whatever, and go ah, and um. And then you you have the first sort of few months of romance and all this kind of thing, but people don't realise that that doesn't hold. You've got to have more. And I it but it takes work too, doesn't it? I have had I had someone say to me a long while back, "You're so lucky. You're so lucky that your life's so good and your relationships so good and your children are so well behaved. You're not lucky. It all takes hard work." What? Work. Lots of hard work, <laughs> an awful lot of hard and continual hard work too. Every day. I mean, um, I think it was probably one of my parents or something. Anyway, somebody from childhood used to say relationships are like be bread. They're best made new every day. Yeah, good saying. Yeah, good saying. Uh, I've never forgotten it. And I thought, yeah, it's true. Yeah. You have to get Gotta up work. and do it. Yeah. You also, I mean, unless it was, depending on the seriousness level, but you have to be careful that, you know, yesterday's <laughs> stays in yesterday. Never go to bed on an argument. And Well, you may go to bed on it, but leave it, you yeah. know, dispose of it in dreams. We don't argue very much, I must admit. And, so. um, I think, again, you get used to this. That there's no point in arguing about mm. that. That really didn't matter. And so you, you learn what matters, and that's yeah. another thing. And, um, you know, yes, you've got these basic principles, like not killing the cat or something. Um, but if it's not one of those, then how much does this matter? Yeah. But sometimes it does. Things, yeah. But, um, you know, you need to think about that. And, um, yeah, I mean, we've been this first of april yes first of april is really truly our anniversary <laughs> and it really truly is first of april <laughs> well it was first of april 1974 right so what is that uh 47 sounds about right yep yeah 47 years this year excellent and people sort of go oh her marvelous her lovely both got the scars and the middles <laughs> <laughs> And um, sometimes people look at your bits like, oh, you know, <laughs> bed of bloody roses. You know, this is, this is, as you said, bloody hard work. Yeah. But it's a journey too, isn't it? And it is about learning and growing as well, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. things change. Mm -hmm. We're not the same people we were when we met, however many years <laughs> it was, 29 years ago. Um, yeah, you, you, everything changes. It does. You, you as a person, yeah, you just have to try and grow along the same lines. <laughs> well, at least grow so that you don't, a bit like trees, you know, if you've got one tree that's inhibiting the sunlight on another, mm. but otherwise forests grow quite well. Yeah. And when one tree is inhibiting another tree, something happens. Yeah. And the, the inhibitions somehow get sorted by the trees and it really does you know it's the same with plants in the garden um, and you know you know you get the problem you know when you've got a really invasive weed and your oh, poor yeah. plant can't go underneath that so you've got to think about things like that and um, and if it happens to be you who's being the invasive weed you really have to sort that out yeah and you have to sort it out in here yeah before you can sort it out with them oh absolutely and i think people don't realize that and they sort of i you know i'm i'm a psychotherapist as well I, i've never done relationship counseling because I, I i thought i'll just kill a pair of them um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's no good for business for goodness sake <laughs> but um 
No, well, I mean, I, I don't have the right sort of temperament. I, w I would just be impatient. We are worrying about that? Or stupid, you know. And you, it's not how you deal with things, so don't do it. I don't know. Maybe that style of therapy might work. And maybe some people need that style it, of therapy. It does, with, it does with some people, but I'd rather deal with each of them individually. Yeah. And you have to get them to say, you know, and they do come with a relationship problem, but you don't have them both together. And I've never worked with two in the same couple i will say well you know you can come to me and you go to my friend yeah. fred down the road yeah um because it, it does give you that space so you yeah. can actually spill your shit yeah which you have to do but you have to do it mm -hmm. and i mean i've done it um um i think you know it, well, probably all witches of various persuasions you have to do that for other world too yeah yeah you, know, you can't cut your shit around and be a decent no. witch You've got to work on yourself before. I always say that about it works well, healers, isn't it? You've got to heal yourself before you can heal anybody else. So. Well, yes, provided you don't take that to you've got to heal yourself physically, because sometimes that isn't right. Oh, yeah, no. But psychologically, <laughs> yes, yes, you do. <laughs> does, your, uh, uh, does your husband follow your same pathway? No. Spiritual pathway? No, no. Mine, mine doesn't either. That's no. all it makes life a bit more interesting, I think. Mm. Uh, I'm very tolerant. <laughs> Sometimes. <I'm> very <laughs> <laughs> but I have had that. I have had students that have had real issues because their partner, husband, other half, wife, whatever, mm. um, doesn't agree with them being witches or pagan or. Ah, oh, no, that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. That's Some like them. that's like killing the cat. Yeah. You know. I, I'm a pagan, I'm a witch, I'm a shaman, I'm a what the hell ever I am. Um, if you don't like it, move. Because I ain't going to be done being different. Yeah. I wonder as well if it is because witchcraft probably in particular has such a bad reputation. If you don't understand it, don't know about it. I think a lot of it is possibly lack of knowledge yeah. as well. Yeah, I think it is. And... We get, I mean, a lot of belief systems are actually habit. Mm. And they're what we've been taught by somebody else. Yeah. And they're comfortable, so we don't want to change them. You don't yeah. want to actually look at what a witch is. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm well, quite happy with them being a nasty, nasty old yeah. bitch who <laughs> will say us in storms or something. Yeah. Um, and then that makes you feel like turning into one, but still, <laughs> at least it does me. <laughs> but no, Paul's Paul's never been. I mean, he's he's got a spiritual path of his own. He's much more connected to um, the East and to. Um, he really should have been a, a university professor. Right. He he has a. Well, he's not a particularly bad academic like most of them are, but he he likes thinking of things in a sort of academic way. Right. And um, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's rubbish. Um, my opinion of academics is largely. <laughs> but um, I know I know one who's decent. No, possibly two. Um, but. So, you know, we, we don't go that way. And, um, oh, there's a really big one, um, which is, was, I just dealt with it fine, was my first book with Moon Books was The Celtic Chakras. Which I love. Fantastic book. Thank you. Mm. Plug, plug. Yes. Um. <laughs> it really did give me a different way of looking at, at chakras. Absolutely. Paul's only and that was before i knew you so i, <laughs> I read that well wow. even better you see even <laughs> yeah. better buy it buy it now if you haven't read it. Um, but paul's knowledge of the chakras which he'd had from his father who spent a lot of time in china and india right um so you know there's all that kind of history was all from the eastern stuff mm. So, you know, there I was, uh, Trevor, um, Trevor, our publisher, uh, sort of said, well, write the book then. And um, so, like that, isn't he? 
Oh, he's great. I love him. He's such a yeah. darling. Yeah. But um, he, you know, so I sort of said to Paul, oh, you know, I mean, he never asked me. I, I, I said, I'm writing this book, Celtic Chakras. So there aren't any. <laughs> so it's like a walk around the garden is called for. <laughs> <laughs> and um well, i thought well in the way that i dealt with that it was just like okay that's not a subject of conversation mm. and now he's be because uh, I, i'm going to add another little thing on the end of this because i didn't push it and i didn't proselytize and i didn't try and tell him things and if he asked me a question about it i was usually too busy to answer um now he's coming round to it right he can at least accept it mm. and um what the thing i'm going to add on is one of our old it, it's a theme which comes in lots and lots of our old fairy stories which i'm sure you know is um you know the apprentice goes to the wizard and the wizard won't have him the wizard turns him away or he says, you know, you can come in and do my housework. Yeah. Or whatever. And says so the apprentice is like this. And it's much the best way. Yeah. Don't fight for your corner. Just say, not worth it. Walk away. Yeah. Talk to somebody who is interested. Yeah. You know, like you or Trevor or something. And there's plenty of yeah. people who were interested, so it's yeah. fine. I, I wasn't lacking conversation. And um, it's a way of dealing with things. You don't have to fight all the time. I do that on social media. <laughs> Just the walk away. It's not worth it. <laughs> Learn that lesson the hard way. <laughs> yeah. uh, sometimes, usually I do, um, occasionally. Um, no, I don't think I ever have. I've made my point very seriously yeah. but if somebody tries to get me to argue with them i just yeah no. usually i just turn them off yeah it's, yeah it's not worth the green there are a lot of people that are on transmit only <laughs> and have absolutely no intention of mm. listening to another mm. opinion or learning or yeah sometimes you have to just look at it and think do you know what not worth it no and you much better for your own inner peace <laughs> and there's a, there's a yeah another old adage is um the person convinced the, the person convinced against their will is of the same opinion still <laughs> i like that <laughs> and it's true yeah they may end up saying yes because in a sense you've browbeaten them into it yeah but they don't believe it no if they come to it of themselves then that's fine but um, and you have to learn to find ways of um, and one of my one of mine that I use a lot. Somebody says, "Oh, but so and so and so and so and so," I just don't buy into that. Yeah. And they sort of look at you, and you sort of go, "Not interested. <clears throat> Not interested in buying into that." Yeah. And I mean, I've done this with students, and they sort of say, "Oh, well, you know, Druidry says so and so and so and so." Fine. Yeah. That's it's not what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Not that I'm knocking druidry or anything. No, it's I just know. Yeah. not what I'm doing, and I'm not going to persuade them that druidry is bad or good, or that druidry really is doing what I'm doing, or that I, I'm doing is really druidry. Because doesn't matter. Yeah, and I think that's important. Yeah, I and mean, there's lots of different ways of coming at the same thing, isn't there? And there's mm. and sometimes you've, I've seen arguments and I've thought, you're both arguing from the same point of view. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 it's just different words mm. and um, you're not understanding that that word is actually very similar to the word the other person's yeah. used and um, you're not going deep enough you're staying on the surface yeah i mean there's everyone's always everyone's entitled to have their own opinion about things obviously and um, they always say don't they ask 12 witches the same question and you'll get <laughs> answers. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i know maybe it comes with experience in deciding whether it's worth fighting about it or mm. just walking away or yeah, yeah. 
sometimes yeah. it is just not worth the grief. <laughs> no, it isn't. And <clears throat> to be honest, I find, I don't know whether you do, hope, you know, let me know if you do. I find with um, students and sometimes, it doesn't happen very often, but occasionally somebody will start with me and then they decide either that they want to rewrite my course, which I've had a couple of times, which is a total waste of time. So if you're thinking about that, don't. Um, I wouldn't dare. You're far too scary. <laughs> um, but I mean, if you don't like it, walk away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Why try to reconvince me? Yeah. And it always cracks me up because, you know, there they are paying me and then they're trying to rewrite it for me. And you say, I'm not getting that somehow. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, they either try to do that or else they decide that what they already knew is what they really want. So they then try and convince me of that. And I, I just say, look, if you don't like it, go away. It's absolutely fine with me. Yeah. And, not, um, the pathways aren't going to suit everybody. No, I mean, no. they are. And you may not know until you start. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, I'm finding the deer trods tribes useful for that. Yeah. Because the lessons they can do on their own. <clears throat> so if they don't like it, they just stop. Right. And yeah. if they do like it, then they come on for more. Yeah. Um, and that's sort of like really up to you what you decide to do. And you're not going to know a lot of the time, are you? I mean, I've, done, I've lost count of the number of courses and workshops and things I've done because I love learning. I love investigating new things and different things but yeah there are some that you you open up and think that that's so spot on that i'm loving it and there are others that you think oh no i don't agree with that or that doesn't feel right or this <laughs> but you aren't going to know until you actually try it you? no and it might take you know one or two or three lessons before yeah. you actually get oh no no that yeah. doesn't fit and or even if, the other way i've done a course where i've started and thought oh this is a bit ceremonial for me i'm not sure i like this but i'll persevere with it and i've got a few lessons into it and thought actually it's just a different way of doing things and i can work this and i can take the bits that i like from it yeah but yeah it's not everything is going to suit everybody because we all work slightly differently we do and other world actually wants that in my experience they're, they're very happy with that providing i mean there are there are, you know like our principles there are some things which you don't do like um selfishly using your power over somebody and that is sort of like pedophilia to other worlds yeah you don't do it no um but otherwise they don't mind if you do something different do you find this with your students that they start off and you know you give them a lesson and it's sort of full of have a go at this do this try this exercise la 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 right right back what happened at least that's at roughly me and yeah. um <laughs> that's pretty much that yeah <laughs> yeah and um so at first they try to do everything precisely as you said it <laughs> And you have to say, it's all right. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I had to change one thing because for you, I mean, I was taught um, what we call sit with, which, you know, you, you take something and you sit with it and you just see what ideas come into your head and right. what, what, which is effectively what it's talking to you about. Yeah. And you just doodle some notes about it. Yeah. Some poor souls think, I mean, sit. <laughs> they can't do it if they're going for a walk <laughs> don't do that one standing up <laughs> no really and, and you, i mean it, it's a horrible thing to think about our education system isn't it um you think, how did you get into that state <laughs> yeah um so i've actually changed it so now i say be with right yeah. And then they can go out for a walk, they can be sitting on the bus, they could be in the Sainsbury's queue or whatever. Yeah. And it's happening. Yeah. And that's so much better. But it's yeah, not... different people interpret the instructions, don't they? We have one thing where it says do a ritual bath. And I've had several people come back and say, I don't have baths. 
so I can't do that one. Well, you can just get under the shower instead. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I think perhaps that is uh, an experience with it, I suppose. Um, but it's also nice that they do come back and say, actually, I can't do this. What, yeah. you know, what else yeah. can I do? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, perhaps it's the written word. I don't know that it's not if you were actually speaking it maybe it would or having a two-way conversation you could clear it up straight away um, you yeah, probably no. would anyway i mean something like that is well have a bath or you know it's okay in the shower you could stand in the rain yeah um <clears throat> and you probably would say that if you were talking but you've and you've allowed all those possibilities into the words you've written but the other person isn't allowing them in because mm. it they're not used to that yeah and uh, it is it's really interesting that the other one i get quite often is working with moon magic but i can't see the moon yeah i do um, that i get that too yeah <laughs> honestly it's still there i promise you <laughs> i promise you the moon is still there behind the clouds yeah we can still um, actually it's still it. there even around when it's around the other side of the planet <laughs> yeah. well again I, I mean we're laughing about it and we mean no disrespect to it no 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 not at I all i think it is just yeah to, perhaps something is that this? because we're so far along our path we maybe don't think about it like that but if you are new to it all that is it is a valid question <laughs> yeah it's totally valid yeah. totally valid and if yeah. you uh, you know it's back to the the only stupid question is the one you didn't ask yeah. oh absolutely yeah um so you know if you've got a question always ask it yes and um we might chuckle but we're actually chuckling with you yes not yeah, at absolutely. you yeah and it, it, it's fine and that and uh, you just reminded me of another bloody joke i seem to be full of them this morning um and excuse me, all Irish people, but this was actually told me by a glorious Irishman, um, even handsome. And um, <laughs> oh, my past life, don't want to know. <laughs> um, anyway, this this bloke, um, he, he was full of these gorgeous Irish jokes, and I, I've always kept them because they're lovely. And he said, it's, it's, the Ar Irish ex expedition to the sun, and they were warned that they might get burned up. He said, it's all right, we'll go at night. <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh because you oh, can it's know that somewhere in the world somebody has probably genuinely said that <laughs> and the irish are so sharp and yes. their humor um when they give you an irish joke is just so sharp i've got to give you the other one um there's um oh two irish names um Paddy and Mick were walking down O'Donnell Street in um, Dublin and this lorry load of turf goes past and so Paddy says to Mick, he says, sure, that's what I want to do when, I, when I'm rich and so Mick says, what's that? He says, send the grass away to be cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have to be able to laugh, don't you? You, you do. do. Have to be able to and, laugh at, and at ourselves, at humanity, you've got to be able to laugh. Yeah. Otherwise, we are going to hell in a handbasket, aren't we? We are, <laughs> and certainly, you know, things like that. Um, it's like, I mean, we, we've had, when we were in London, we had some Jewish friends and some Muslim friends as well, and their jokes about themselves. Yeah. Oh, they're sharp. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah. They are so good. And um quite you know, quite often you have to go, oh my god, <laughs> you know, <laughs> click oh. yeah. as you get it. And it's so nice when you get someone who can just laugh like that. Yeah. Yeah. And um gotta be able to laugh. Really make it you know, make a good laugh at themselves, yeah. which is really funny. And back to the relationships, that's what you need to do with each other too. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bless you when he's standing there in nothing but his socks. <laughs> Very oh, Egyptian. Very so Egyptian. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, and it's sort of like, and there's that classic one. It's like, um, 
No, dear, I've got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> oh i know yeah and i think just, we should leave, we should leave people with their jokes and their visions of men i think we gone. should and the fact <laughs> that actually any otherworldly path is going to be full of laughter and jokes and tricks and pranks and fun oh, the gods have got a sense of humor they must have a sense of humor to deal with us lot <laughs> i think the only time they get sad is when we don't know when we don't know when to laugh yeah yeah it's what keeps us going isn't it definitely it is indeed well we shall leave you there on fun yes <laughs> leave everybody with those images and <laughs> we, will, we will see everyone again in a couple of weeks thank we you will so indeed. take care everybody take care